Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is, well, the beginning of a series of me doing the quest to unlock the rogue class, and then their subsequent class quests, and then after that, the ninja class quests. So, this is how it's starting out. You talk to this guy way down here in the middle of nowhere. Hang about. Ain't you that last that goes by the name of Katarina? And, okay. Hey, I knew it. We like to snitch all the rising talent, and from what I hear, you're head and shoulders above the rest. If you can handle yourself half as well as they say, you might be, uh, well, you might well be of use to us. Ah, forget all the sisters or the Eldwaste bullocks. That's just a bit of fun to fob off the curious coals. We're a guild of rogues, lass, and it's mainly our marks as does the praying. Me and mine work in the shadows of Limpsa, taking a keen edge to the rooks and cracklers would have earned themselves a millin. We don't toot for members, but every now and again we might offer a promising young cove a place in the ranks. If you an interest in joining us, tip, tip us your daddles and we'll put a hilt in each one just like the gods intended. What do you say? Fancy learning a new trade? Yes. Good to see you're keen, but I should probably warn ye on a few points before ye dive in. Where most guilds take pride in turning their members into the best bloody candlesticks makers they can be, we only care about getting the job done. And the job ain't pretty. Ye become one of us, and ye'll soon be neck deep in scum and knife fights. So if you're looking to scamper across rooftops and built dandies of blunt, you'd best take up with a different crew. Think on that, and you come back, you're still keen. Okay. Do you? Would you? Yes, yes, I would. I didn't scare you. Scare you off then? Be it. Or Ben? I don't know. They told me what a meddlesome. They told me he was a meddlesome lass, and so it's proved. You'll need every ounce of that metal soon enough. Now step inside and have a prattle with Jack. He's our upright man and master of the guild. You know, you may not freely enter the rogues guild. Speak blue, blah blah blah. blah. Oh, speak of that. Yes, I do wish to enter the rogues guilds. Wait, it gave me the dagger, so I'm assuming I can equip it? I probably missed a screen message. I'm probably ended up naked. Oh no, I haven't I haven't un uh, uh, unlocked it yet. Oh good god, there's a lot of people in here. I am the one they called Jack, though I'm surprised you heard of me. Perhaps you'd be good enough to tell me your name, along with that, oh, the kindly cove as you told mine. Ah, the famous Katarina. Old Lonnie Leftpatch let you in, did he? Hmm, can't throw a blade for shite, but that one eye don't miss not when it comes to sizing up a Dimber Mort for the Stalin. Just one thing, you ain't a pirate, are you? Well then, it's time ye was stalled to the rogue. Put on your best beater cases and I'll swear ye in myself when you're ready. Now I could fill your waddles with the storied history of our guild, but that's just winds, well, winds and wind. And most important thing, the only thing we care about is getting the job done. And I've strangely developed a weird accent partly through reading this. Now, most folk, and I'm assuming you're among them, know not long after Limsa's founding, the city was overrun by a motley collection of pirates and thieves. But as wild as that lot were, it soon became clear that they'd all end up killing each other if they didn't lay down a few rules, an unspoken code of conduct, as it were. One, ye don't bite the purses of your fellow Luminsons. Two, ye don't Rook a crew out their spoils, and three, you don't trade calls like they would chattel. I'll admit the finer points of the code are a mite murky, but most agree on those three at least. Now, you might be thinking no amounts of sack of dillberries now, the Admiral's outlawed piracy, but in the back alleys and black markets where Merlob's grip ain't so tight, the code's still alive and well. And just the laws enforced by the Yellow Jackets, the code is regulated by us rogues. We go where the shadows are darkest and hand out justice to them as break the code. Some rum-soaked cove steals goods from the wrong coal and we steal them back. That's the job, my natty lass. 
course, we don't hop the twig when the blade work's called for, neither. You'll see there's much more to our dagger play than just sticking coals at the pointy end. We'll weaken a mark with poison, fade away, and strike the dark men's whatever it takes to get the work done. Well, Katarina, what do you say to that? Got the guts to do a rogue's job. Yes? That is my playstyle. Period. Just, I love rogue ga gameplay, so it irks me whenever a game does it wrong. But based on the skills you get that was in the patch notes, I'm assuming this game does it right. Alright then. First off, we have to get your kits sorted out. A rogue needs to be light on her do beaters to stay on a mox trail. The job might have ye fighting across a deck or weaving through a mob, and the last thing you want is a bleeding great battle axe what hooks itself on every rope and post. That's why we stick to daggers. They let ye slip through the streets just as easily as they slip through a rook's ribs. Here, take these stabbers and let's see how they look on ye. Just don't get so excited when your new toys that ye forgot to dress for the role. You'd be surprised how many cults come back to me in their bloody small cloths. Yeah, I might not have level 1 clothing. Because I don't have a reason to, to be honest. Not until now. Okay, I've got a shirt. Uh, no gloves. Got a belt. Uh, no pants. I seem to have lost my pants. Imperial pot helm. I have that fucking helm. Ugly. Uh, that earring is pointless. It provides no stats. Uh, Ring of freedom. I don't know why. Well, that's determination. And I guess that'll have to do... Don't want to be replacing my monk slot here now. Rog. Okay. Jack wishes you a few pointers on dagger play. Manage to strap those daggers on without cutting yourself? Well, we're off to a good start, I'd say. Next, you'll want to get a feel for the weight and speed of your new weapons. I reckon those bleating cheats in the fields outside Limsu should serve for your, less for your first lesson. I test your blades on a few of them lambs, and then slice up some rats and poogles for good measure. I realize I just said poogles. Poogles. Mine... That ye mill them beasties one at a time, though, last. I know ye serve far worse in the past, but no dimba damba with them stabbers just yet. So, I essentially am barely clothed at this moment, but I don't think it's really going to matter. Uh, I do wish that there was a closer. Well, let's say Ethernet node's close enough. What do I have? I have Spinning Edge. Uh, crap. I think I wanted to go to Middle Linoska. Yeah, this'll do. So, I need to kill three Lost Lambs, three Wharf Rats. And that's it. There's there's a lot of people doing rogue, and then with this patch, there was also the uh, release of the final co co final coil of Bahamut. So uh, hmm. here's the problem. I was supposed to be in middle and Noshka. Screwed that run up royally. I can mount at level 1, right? Okay, good. Uh, I could go back in. But screw it, I might as well just run up there. I don't need to kill those. Those are for the, uh, the hunting log. Do, 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 do. could just cut this part. But I am lazy, and this is essentially filler content for where I don't have any. 
But at least unlike a lot of people, I have a shirt. There is actually quests available out here, but... That's not for this. This is to basically just show off the story quests. So this is Stabbers in Your Fambles. This is the last level 1 quest. The next quest is at level 5. And it may or may not take longer, because these three quests together are more or less one quest, when you think about it. The, uh, the stance used for holding the daggers as well. Come on. Heal faster. Oh. Oh, perfect dodge. Uh. My bar is locked. I want that on six. You can go the whole way over there. Uh, here's a question. I can take one ability from another class, huh? Let's take Haymaker for the moment. I just slightly screwed myself because I can't cast any abilities now because the editing of my skills. But I'm not that concerned. I've got I got well Yeah, I should be able to use high potions. I've got apparently mega potions. And when do I... It's level 2. Didn't I already... I'm level 3 now. I get my next ability at level 4. Ah, uh, screw it. I can afford to sprint. The... Yeah, Poogles are the whole way up here, so... I should get credit for any that somebody else is attacking, as long as I hit it within a decent amount of time. That is if there wasn't, like, a thousand people out here. This is bound to happen when there's a release of a new class on, well, anything, really. And that's three. Cool. Uh, is my return back up? Yes. I am actually with the Maelstrom, so my home point is set to here in Limsa. So that should be the end very soon. Uh, if you're watching this before I've uploaded the whole thing, or the whole series of quests, uh, instead of, like, what I normally do, these are going to be uploaded as I complete them. Although, with the first episode, first video, first few videos even, probably, being an exception to that plan, because, well, yeah, there is a lot of people at the moment. And realistically, better footage would probably be gained from sleeping or something until otherwise, but while I'm loading, this is the class I've been waiting to get added to the game since 1.0, original release. So, come on. No. Ah. Done with your milling, eh? Are ye? You can never have enough blade practice, lass. In fact, I'll even add a list of marks to your hunting log. Pit yourself against the lot, and you'll see, soon learn some new steps for your dance with the daggers. Uh, aye, you must think of yourself as a dancer, not a bleeding butcher. You only need so much force to ram a short blade into the hilt. 
precision and speed, that's how you get the most out of your stabbers. Bulky armor will only have you plodding about like an ungainly aurox. So make sure you're wearing your gear... Oh, your wearing gear will let you move freely as well. Light armor. Alright, get your blade work up to scratch, scratch Katarina and you might just have a uh, And I might just have a job for ye. Next request will be available from Jack upon reaching level 5. So, that is the end of this first set of questings. I need to go level up. I may even just spend time leveling and then do a bunch of quests back to back. That's probably what I will do. So, I will see you guys on the next quest. Have a good day.